Hello, I'm Tony Hale. Today, I will be showing you some of the more compelling features of Eco Atlas, our new tool for visualizing the condition and extent of California's aquatic resources. When you first encounter Eco Atlas, you will notice that you can explore the tool via maps, wetland mitigation or restoration projects, eco-regions, or waterboard regions. For our demonstration today, we will dive into the San Francisco Bay and Delta eco-region. Immediately you encounter CARI, or the California Aquatic Resources Inventory, which displays in unprecedented detail classifications of wetland features. One of the fastest ways to witness the power of Eco Atlas is through its landscape profile tool. By combining maps, charts, tables, and other formats, the landscape profile tool is able to offer a wealth of information to those who wish to dive deeply into aquatic resources. It allows you to define an area of your choosing by selecting an entire watershed basin, a Huckate region, congressional district, or county. Or you may choose to simply draw a polygon on the map. So now as we draw a polygon, the selected area is immediately analyzed and its wetland classifications determined. For instance, the percentage of tidal marsh and subtidal water appear in a pie chart. From this dashboard, you can derive reliable estimates of wetland acreage and even determine the length of fluvial and tidal features. It even integrates historic aquatic resource classifications so that users can note differences between then and now. These data are derived from SFEI's historical ecology projects. Mapping wetland mitigation and restoration projects provides an important window into the types of activities taking place in an area and specifically where those activities are happening. You can zoom to an individual project of interest and discover detailed information about that project. CRAM assessments, or California Rapid Assessment Method, represents an effort to characterize the condition of a wetland according to rigorous techniques. EcoAtlas maps those assessments that are performed within the area of interest. The index score reveals the overall assessment, but finer details can be revealed all within this mapping interface. You can zoom to the assessment area or identify the nearest reference sites that are selected for their comparative wetland condition during the CRAM work. Additional information, such as human census data, is linked to the interest area, as are species data made available to site users via calls to the California Natural Diversity Database. Natural resource managers can use this critical information to determine areas of habitat that are particularly sensitive due to an association with an endangered or threatened species. For those wondering about the origins of these data or frequency of their updates, the answer is a mere click away. If you wish to take the landscape profile report to go, you can click print report. From there, you can take it with you to committee meetings or as an archive to associate with a critical decision. The formatted PDF report includes all the information in the map-based version of the report, but in another easy-to-read, portable format. The other tools in EcoAtlas offer ways to display, filter, and browse the collection of CRAM assessments and wetland projects. In addition, you can measure and interpret landscapes. The range of base maps and data layers available in EcoAtlas are impressive. Among other things, you can visualize historic aquatic resources, riparian area, wetland projects, cram assessments, seed and sediment, and water toxicity. Individually, these layers offer tremendous discovery potential, but collectively, they afford a new level of efficiency and insight. Thank you for joining me today on this tour of EcoAtlas. We look forward to hearing your feedback as we continue to expand the features and functionality of the tool to suit California's resource management needs. Until then, take care.